Hi Capricorn, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. This is for, oh, and this is for the full moon in Scorpio. So we're going to dive into the energies that are coming out for you guys right now. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just want to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. Okay, my loves. So let's dive in and see what's coming out for you guys in this full moon. Oh, so let me dive into this, okay? Full moon in Scorpio. For you guys, could be meaning that it could be significant endings um, to relationships, so I feel as though some of you guys are coming to a lot of realization, clarity around who should and shouldn't be in your life. Like who's of the benefit of you, okay? And look at, oh wow. So your very first card that popped out is hold your vision. And I feel like this next card seems significant. Nothing is set in stone. So you could be feeling like right now you're in this mutable kind of energy. Things feel a little bit up in the air. You're kind of like, uh, it, things feel a little bit chaotic at times because something has shifted. Oh, actually that's really significant for you guys. I feel like some type of foundation or something broke like literally what I saw, I have my senseis that I go to and they're Zen center, the foundation, we just had an earthquake and um, their Zen center, totally the foundation was cracked, like some parts in the building. And that's kind of what I'm seeing is that there's something kind of shifting around you and you're still having to stay committed to something, withhold your vision. You're still having to, look how similar those cards are. Like even though they're different cycles of the moon, this is a fixed and that's mutable. Look how amazing it is. It's like even through the fluctuating circumstances, you're still really holding on to a vision of what you want to manifest, like better times or your future up ahead. And that's what I feel like is coming out for you guys. It's almost like, you know, I don't really believe in the universe testing us. I just feel as though there's lessons that we need to learn. And if you stay committed to certain things, then, you know, you really can have control over the planetary movements, like of whether they affect you or not. I truly do believe in that. So let me pull out your other cards because I feel like this is such a powerful combination. I love that that popped out because I feel as though you guys could be feeling and seeing, look how cool this is. You have the queen of pentacles. So there's your energy. Don't get caught up by the gender. But I feel like Cap, what's happening for you is you're still staying really like, like grounded. You're still like, yeah, I'm going to keep doing this no matter what happens around me. You're just still doing your thing, putting your head down, accomplishing your goals. And look at that. So Queen of Cups, interesting. All right. So it's really interesting too, because in the last readings, I kept getting all of these queens that were popping out. So for some of you guys, <clears throat> that's what I feel like is coming up with this full moon is you could be experiencing some type of relationship that's maybe feeling like, Cap, I think you're dealing with someone who's a little bit more emotional or just that's what I'm feeling and maybe this could be vice versa maybe you guys are that could be that you holding your vision you're continuing to kind of go with the cycles which is interesting like maybe there's some type of water in your chart but look how crazy that is like I, I just love this imagery your things are shifting like look at the water there it's so similar water and then look at the mountains and the earth and earth. So some of you guys, like I said, could be dealing with someone who's like very emotional and you are just holding your ground. You're staying committed to maybe yourself. 
And even though you feel as though this person could be, for some of you, it could be bringing up some, a little bit of challenges for you. And that's why I was saying some of you could be in this mode of thinking about ending a relationship possibly, like, because you're that committed to your vision and you're seeing kind of that there could be certain people around you that aren't totally supportive of your goals and your dreams Ah, look at that. And we've got the Emperor card. <laughs> I heard someone once say that this Emperor, he kind of looks like Drake. And I kind of agree. He kind of does look like Drake to me. But that's you. So I feel like you, through this full moon, you're going to be really standing your ground in some way, shape, or form. Oh, man. Cap, what in the heck is happening? Okay, you've got the Magician. And the high priestess look at your cards that are coming out and so you've got all major arcanas that popped out here and i shuffle these cards like crazy but you've got the magician the high priestess and the justice card for some of you guys you could be feeling as though you are manifesting something really huge and significant here with the high priestess there's something really um kind of more of the entanglement part like you could be feeling as though some of you guys i feel like four of pentacles you are holding back your energy from someone because i feel like for some of you you could be caught in some type of entanglement with someone where you know that they become a bit emotional like you're possibly and they're gonna have their own views and perceptions of course but what i'm picking up on the energies between the two of you is you're having to really like take some type of a stand the emperor card that can be kind of like my way or the highway and maybe cap that's what you're doing you're like you could be in this mode with the scorpio full moon where you feel as though uh, this is what i'm going to caution you on because it could make you a bit triggered especially for long-standing relationships because sometimes what can happen with Scorpio is Scorpios, I love them to death. This is nothing negative, but they can hold a grudge forever. I have two Scorpios in my family and I know them very well. I love them, but man, when they hold on to something, it is intense. And so maybe that's your energy cap or this could be someone else like say for instance if this is family which i wouldn't be surprised with the emperor card because that can be any type of authoritative figure and where maybe some of what you guys are having to do you almost feel like there's this scales balancing moment that's coming up either through the scorpio full moon not too far off though you feel like there's going to be i do feel like there's going to be a time where you're kind of transitioning to all this energy. All of a sudden, you're going to be in this mode where you've got this structure that's in your life, like building your own empire. Things are manifesting for you. You being really in tune with your high, your psychic abilities, like your high, high intuition. And that's what's helping you to stay balanced through any type of instability or fluctuating circumstances and situations you're the one being the rock here with this like three major arcanas there and that's because i feel like with the four of pentacles on the end it's because you're being very cautious about what and who you invest your energy in because the queen of pentacles you're really seeing that as you take care of yourself in that material way it's opening up your vision and your connection to the universe at this higher level so that's why we you could be dealing with both sides right where you're just realizing that there's certain energies that come in and you just have to constantly be really aware of four of pentacles where to invest your energy where to invest your time your money all those type of things and so that's what i would say to stay really aware of during the scorpio full moon is you'll know like the universe will kind of show you signs and especially pay attention to your emotions because with the queen of cups if you put your energy and attention in a certain direction and it makes you emotional or it brings you pain in some way, shape, or form, it's probably that you're going to be moving in a different direction from that. That's what the Scorpio full moon is going to be helping you to do. So I feel like withhold your vision, continue to hold your vision, and maybe your standards and expectations of 
what you truly want and deserve so that you can move into that manifestation. The full moon is totally going to help you to do that. So I'm going to dive into the extended with this. If you guys feel like joining me over there, feel free, go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you over there. But cap, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.